Brian Garcia, 22 years old. I'm 20 and 0 with 17 KOs. And I'm about to prepare for the biggest fight of my life. I'm fighting Luke Campbell, Olympic gold medalist, person they say I can't beat. Luke Campbell. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to make a dream walk, fighting out of the red corner. Here's the undefeated. You step in that ring, you're either going to break or you're going to form into something amazing. He's got speed, power, looks, charisma, the whole package. And he's got it! Oh, another 10! It's about passion. It's about family. This is about respect. This is a terrible decision. This is the fight of my life. And I'm here to shock the world. I'm preparing my mind, my spirit, everything inside me. I gotta give my all each day because you don't get redos in boxing. How many times must I spread myself in there? This early part of training camp is basically getting your mind and your body ready for war. You're going in there ready for war and you gotta pay attention to every detail because in the blink of an eye, Get knocked out. But you gotta go, go, go every single day. That's why I like forget what I did, go hard today. Forget what I did, go hard today. So one day, I'm just a monster. And that's the part I'm trying to get to right now. That's a constant struggle for me every day. Things go out of whack. So I'm just focusing. Try harder, try harder, try harder, try harder. As the fight gets closer, the pressure rises. This is a very serious time. With the Campbell fight for Garcia, we're approaching this moment of revelation. Campbell has an Olympic gold medal. He has a deep amateur pedigree, and he's accomplished as a pro. This is a real guy. This guy took rounds from Lomachenko. If Ryan Garcia is real, we start to really find out now. What time is it? 7.17, I'm gonna run about five miles, and then uh, get ready to go to the gym, so. Yeah, it's early, but this is the best time to run. I'm gonna have to yell at you for the 2.5, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere, what? Somewhere way over there. Yeah, it's it's about 2.5 miles that way. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the boat. That's, oh. probably, that's where I'm gonna go, the boat. Right, ready? Hey, back. Sean's here. All right, let's go. What's at stake for Ryan Garcia is, is his whole career inside the ring. Because I'm sure he's thinking you know, I have to win this fight. I have to prove to the boxing community. I have to prove to the naysayers. I have to prove to my toughest critics. Ryan's a type of person and a type of fighter that, that, wants, to, that wants to prove to himself and to everyone else that, that he has what it takes to become a world champion for a very long time. So there's a lot of pressure on him. My favorite part of it is becoming a monster. To see my body evolve, I could see myself change. I could feel myself change. I'm not that guy that's watching Netflix all day. Instead, I'm watching anime because they're all about warrior <laughs> <laughs> You know, as a kid, I knew that it was gonna be long-term. There was a feeling inside me that it was just gonna be long term. There was no looking back. I noticed I was faster than most kids. I had better timing than most kids. And then it came down to, am I gonna dedicate my whole life to this? Ryan Rise in his professional world started when he signed up with Golden Boy. Advantage, all that right hand and Rudy Bacon jumped in and it's over. 18 year old, recently signed to Golden Boy, is now 7-0 with 6 KO. 
from that point, it escalated. You know, it's like they planted the seed for him and said, you know, okay, you know, we're going to allow you to blossom and see if you could meet these challenges. And it was just amazing because it started off by him just knocking people out. <laughs> In the right, and there it is, it's over. Garcia able to look at that right now. We can't go. You know? And they're like, oh, well, he is for real, you know? The boxing is a serious sport, and my dad, he made sure I knew that. And he told me, either you're going to be the best at this, or you're not going to do it at all. Because there's no point of getting your head knocked in if you don't, you know, get something out of it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We're having breakfast with the fam. I'm celebrating my 20th birthday. 20's treating me well so far. <laughs> He's a great father. It makes me cry sometimes just seeing him. He's so sweet with Riley, you know? Meet Riley Garcia. Oh, <laughs> man. He's honestly mad. He's having a mad moment, but this is Riley, my daughter. The biggest blessing in my life it gave me so much motivation. And this love that you can't compare to anything else. It's something that uh, is going to keep me pushing for the rest of my life. And it gives me something even more to fight for. It's a lot, but it's actually the biggest blessing you can have. It's crazy because you don't know until you like know, until you see them. And once I seen her, I knew that I was gonna work my ass off even more and push my limit to the breaking point to give her <laughs> to give her something that uh, something I never had. And that's my, my main thing. Whether I gotta wear ribbons like this or uh, hit people. <laughs> It's definitely tough, but uh, when she grows up, she'll understand the sacrifice you got to put in to achieve something great. Uh, and, you know, if it was easy, everybody would do it, but uh, I know what I have to do, and she's going to have a great life because of it, so uh, that's why I'm doing it. Oh, my gosh. Come on in, guys. Ryan. Yes, sir. Congratulations. You did it. Yeah, this is it. Finally, ready to sign this. After all this work and stress, it finally happened. But this is the biggest fight, in my opinion, of your career at this moment. There's going to be bigger fights, right. but we finally got it done. So I reviewed the contract. I reviewed everything. So I think that we're good to sign. So this right. is it. Damn. Fight's done, finally. If you sign this, that means you're going to knock Luke Campbell out. I'll sign it three times then. <laughs> Ryan Garcia. Okay, yeah. Uh, that'll be the fight. All right, so that's it. This, everything that we talked about is in the I'm so proud of my son. I know that he's been wanting this for a while now. I think we're good to go. Like Ryan says, let's shock the world. Having my dad there makes me feel comfortable just because he's my dad. You know, he's been to every fight of mine. He hasn't missed one fight. He's trained me every day. Doesn't take no, I don't know how he does it. I mean, lately he's been taking a little time off. <laughs> okay. No, but. My dad, uh, yeah, he's a big part of my life. My whole family is, matter of fact. It was that long ago? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's the at? Yeah. Don't even get me started on my mom. She is a momager, I guess you want to call her. She likes to handle everything of mine. I wear two hats. Of course, I'm his mom and then also his administrative assistant. He doesn't understand sometimes that his career is demanding on me too. And every day I'm getting calls about Ryan Garcia. It's hard sometimes to take off that cap and just be mom, you know? My mom's very good emotionally when it comes to helping you figure out things internally and with your anxiety or just anything that's 
like holding me back inside. Some of the biggest challenges in his life have been some of his anxiety issues. You know, I experienced anxiety in my life, so I understand the barriers that it could create. But for Ryan, I'm just so proud of the way that he's been able to push through. I, I can't even imagine how he still works out. He still gets up and he still does what he has to do. He doesn't let it bring him down. She's my, my backbone. When I'm scared, I go to my mom and anything. I have to make it a point to do it because I'm still a mom and I need to be his mother, you know? I need my mom there. <laughs> I love my mom. Call me a mama's boy. It is what it is. Come fight me. Because he's so humble, at first he was just like, he didn't even know that he was famous. <laughs> and he saw his sister like doing Instagram and he's like, oh, I'm going to try Instagram. Yeah. He just started blowing up on Instagram, so he realized that he could use that as a platform to promote his boxing. And so doing that at the same time and boxing and then winning, it just a combination just made him bigger. Put Tanner through the body shot challenge, see what he's made of right here. <laughs> Ryan, even though he's incredibly young, understands Instagram, YouTube, all the rest of it. He understands that social media gives him leverage in this that other fighters simply don't have. Let's go! That is good and it's bad point, but social media overall is good and I advise anybody who's doing anything to get, you know, into it. Everybody, this is the family push-up challenge. Go. Then when he started fighting for Golden Boy and he did that 30, what, 32 second knockout on ESPN? Just two punches! That's when he like, did a Henry and you hit the jackpot. Yeah, you hit the jackpot. And he goes, what's that? I said, well, <laughs> if you don't understand that, you will. King Ron! Ryan Garcia! The bad point is that you can't go anywhere and you can't do anything human because everybody will immediately act like you're not human. You know, you're so harshly judged by everyone because more people have the chance to reach you and just like try to hurt you, just try to bring you down and either get cloud off it or just to be mean. Sean, uh, I also need him there. I love my little bro to death, man. He's always made me push harder. We have kind of had like a brotherly rivalry. And I think I give him a lot of credit to make me the fighter I am today. I say two of the days, we do sprints. And then the other two days, we run. I think so too. We should do 12 sprints for 12 rounds. 12 sprints? We have to only have like a 10 second recovery or five second recovery. You can't recover for like 30 seconds because in a fight you don't recover 30 seconds. So yeah. you should sprint. We recover for five seconds or less. No, we do. We 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 start from the point. We sprint to the other point. Jog back. And the and 10 seconds. Jog back. Jog back. Oh, and okay. right when you hit, boom. Okay, I, I like 12 the jog 12 back. 12 times. I like boom. The back, that's cool. But I'm gonna boom. be doing this all, mostly by myself. Okay. Because that's how I like doing it, or just for Sean. When I'm training by myself, I feel way better. When I'm training with multiple people, I just feel like I'm getting bugged. I personally like working out just by myself, just me, myself, and I. But uh, I'll make an exception with my little brother, because he's my little brother. But if he wasn't here, I'd rather kick everybody out. You know, I don't like anybody around me. Like, I don't know why, it's just this thing in my mind. Like I just like to be in my zone, you understand what I'm saying? Like I'm going to be alone in the ring. So I kind of, maybe subconsciously, that's what's going through my mind. Like, the hate for boxing don't get me mad. Like, it doesn't affect me. It's just people that are coming at my character. I see people, what they say, oh, this kid, he's just here. He look good, he got social media, or whatever they say. And that's the part of me that I want to show people. In boxing since I was seven years old, I've done everything I had to do. I woke up every day running, crying, but just working, just going through the blood, sweat, and tears, the long hours with my dad and my uncle, and just going through the ups, the downs, the circles, and everywhere when you feel like you're going to want to quit, but then you go back up, and it's just so much emotions I went through my whole life for this boxing stuff. And now that I'm here, 
it's, I feel so disrespected when people say, oh, you just here for this. You just got it because of this. When in reality, I've worked my life for this. It's my time, it's my era. He's just gonna get walked down and, and beat down. You gotta baptize your body, like you gotta you gotta hurt before it feels good. So right now it's like I'm pushing my body so it hurts, you know? Until one day it just stops hurting because he did it so many times. Got a little bit of issues with my hands, not too bad. Just like wrist issues I've been dealing with. But you know, it's things that you know you just go through as a fighter. Everybody goes through a little bit of kinks and aches and things that you gotta get through, you know? So you know, I gotta fight through all that, all those mental barriers saying, ah, it hurts, or this, that, you know. I try not to complain, you know. I try to just figure it out. You know, if my hand's hurting in this position, then I'll hit a different way. Ryan has been faced with critique you know, most of his young career. And they continue to speak. They continue to, to voice their opinions, and they're always you know, negative, and people will always be so hard on him because he's making it look so easy. This fight here is a very dangerous fight. Failure I means part of life, you know? In order to become greater at something, you need to lose like 10 times. It's just like trial and error. You keep at it, you obsess over it. Okay, I didn't do this right, but I could do this right next time. You gotta be honest with yourself and just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying until you get to a high level where you ain't got no more mistakes. And these people that quit after the third mistake are sitting back like, how did he figure it out? He didn't figure it out by no special trick. By this, that, he just kept going, going, going. When you want it to be something great, something, you just keep going, you keep going, keep going, keep going. And even when you're done going, you keep going. There's nothing he's gonna do to win this fight. He's gonna tap, 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 run, tap, 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 run, just like most people do. And uh, I'm not gonna be throwing taps. He's not gonna be able to take it. I know he's not. I don't care what kind of fight it is. He could be touching me, he could make me have a black eye. I don't care what it is. As long as I knock his ass out and win the fight, I don't care about nothing. I'm going to 2021 shooting for everybody. It was about two days ago, I get a call from Oscar Del Hood. And I'm like, you know, Oscar, yo, give me some good news. He was like, no, I got bad news. I was like, what do you mean bad news? He was like, Campbell got COVID. I was like, oh.